Real Life Street Stars. We in here with Slim Johnson. What it is, man? Hey, man, what it do? What it do? You know what I'm talking about? Chillin', chillin', man. First of all, where you from? D Town, Texas, 214972 all day long. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the cliff. You know what I'm saying? All day. Um, how long you been rapping? Man, honestly, man, uh, I picked up my first pen at nine years old. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's when I first, you know what I'm saying, penned my first phrase. Um, as far as like getting in the booth, age, I think 14, it was this cat named uh, Zo. You know what I'm saying? He used to produce for Power Powerhouse. I think that was the name of the record company back then. Yeah, shout out you to Powerhouse. Yeah. 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 He was uh, he was the first one of the first dudes to ever put me in a in a booth. You know what I'm saying? Um, we went to the same high school and everything. So after that, you know what I'm saying? I think that's when it really took it serious or whatever. So I think around 14, 15, when I really just started taking, trying to think it, think it is this is what I want to do as a career, basically. You know what I'm saying? What would you say makes you different than most rappers? Um, I'm a thinker. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to especially music, you know what I'm saying? I actually dig the culture of music. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I grew up listening to all kind of music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember watching, it used to be this shit called a box. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. The box? You know what I'm saying? So I used to write down video. videos and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, from shit that I want to see. So when I see the numbers come up and I already got it wrote down, I'm like, damn, this shit for the come on, you know what I'm saying? So Hold on, hold on, bro. Yeah. Since you going to break up the box, <laughs> what was your favorite video, your top three on the box? On the box, man, had to be number one was that ice cream video from Wu-Tang Clan. Man. You know what I'm saying? That was one. Um, another video, man, um, Mind playing tricks on me. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That video. Um and I think the third one, man, uh Trapped by Pac. You know what I'm saying? Uh I used to love that record. I don't I don't know I don't know why I used to love that record. Every time it come on, that record just got me amped when I used to see that record in the video. You know what I'm saying? Um when I can't find out about you, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, was at the um the DJs versus artists, man. You had mm -hmm. a lot to say, man. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. I want you to speak more about that. You know, give your you know personal views right now to the camera, man. Tell us, tell us about that. Basically, when it comes to this, I feel as if I understand the DJs part, I understand the artist part. But here's the thing: everybody talk about business. This is a business, but ain't nobody running it like no business. You know what I'm saying? And when I say this, I'm saying it to be real. I ain't out here throwing no slugs at nobody, but just analyze what you're doing. Prime example, when it comes to mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? You got DJs that's putting out mixtapes, and they charging artists X amount of dollars to put on the mixtapes, and then they putting the mixtapes in the retail stores for sale. Now, when it comes to the business end, what you're actually doing is licensing music to be on your project from another artist. Basically, if you're putting it in retail, at least get an artist some points off that record or some points off the retail, you know what I'm saying, or some back-end money off the retail, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't make any sense, me as an artist, giving a DJ my single on a mixtape with 30 other artists, you know what I'm saying, and they throwing it out there and marketing and promoting it. And yeah, you giving me exposure, but let's just say my record is number one. By the time they get number 15, they don't forgot about number one. By the time they get to number 30, they don't forgot about number 15. So what make them go think about number one? Then they get to this too, and they got all these other artists to listen to. My, thing, my, my, my point of saying that is this, it's not a focal point on a certain artist when you're doing those mixtapes like that. You know what I'm saying? So when the DJ approaches me and he wants to have my pro my, my single or whatever and want a slot on his tape, I'm like, well, you asking me to be on your project, so at this point, I'm treating it as a business. You asking me to license my original music to be on your project to help your brand. So at this point, I have the right to ask you for a licensing fee, honestly, and then we can negotiate the rest on the back end. 
you know what I'm saying? Or I can take my $50 for their slot, go get me 100 CDs printed up of that single, and go out there and work that record myself. That way the focal point will be on me. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to that, DJs, I just like y'all to be more honest and be more upfront when it comes to doing business with artists. Don't just take money because you need to get your project out you know what I'm saying? And how these artists constantly spending their wheels. Cause I've seen artists be on these same tapes for two, three, four years and their careers ain't going nowhere. But you giving out all this free music. Hip hop give away too much free music. You don't see no country mixtape website. You don't see no rock mixtape website. Wow. It's all about business and money. Man, so you just said a mouthful. Real life street stars. <laughs> Boy, <crazy. laughs> so, you're you're very knowledgeable. You sound like you've done a lot of homework. How important is it for an artist to know this business? Um, honestly, man, it's 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 very important. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is priceless. It's powerful. You know what I'm saying? I had to actually get this knowledge on my own in certain instances and I learned it through trial and error. Every artist not gonna come in here and learn the business right off top. I'm not expecting every artist to come in here and know everything. But I learned everything through trial and error. That's how I got my knowledge. So when it comes to that, it's like, hey, you gotta go do that research, man. If you're gonna be in this, you gotta know what you're getting into. So what was the one mistake that you made that made you say, man, I got to get my stuff together? I signed a contract I was in for almost 10 years and couldn't get out of it. How did you get out of it? I basically pretty much just exhausted the time frame. Time frame. You know what I'm saying? Because in a situation to where I went from being – in a in a closet studio recording or just basically freestyling with my homies and then I'm invited to this studio where I got Grammy or award winning producer. I got beats twenty four seven, access to whatever I want. Shit, I'm just happy to be on the scene now. I'm rapping, I can do whatever I want. I'm waking up every day and I go right to the booth. We smoking the best weed, we doing what we want, we got the bitches, the money, all that. So I'm like, okay, contract came in my face. Shit, why not? But I didn't know shit about publishing, I didn't know shit about marketing, I didn't know shit about getting paid for shows, I didn't know shit about traveling, and I'm over there writing for people, I'm over there traveling, I'm over there doing shows, I'm over there, all that. So tell us what you're working on right now. Tell us about what we got going. Uh, right now I got the single choices, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much that's what I'm working right now. Um, it's for my EP. I got untitled right now, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much done. I just haven't come up with a name for it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got an EP that we're about to um, drop and then the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really don't want to do a mixtape, but people been asking me because people been like, yo, you're not on Spinrilla, you're not on that pill for live mixtapes and all that. So I'm going to give them that so they can have that access to that music there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really not an advocate of giving away free music like that unless I'm touching the people directly. Straight up. So uh, for as long as you've been in the game, what are some of the good things that you could say that you took from your situations? Some of the positives. Oh man, um, pretty much just um, learning about relationships, building relationships. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much just learning how to make make strategic moves, stay ahead. You know what I'm saying? Do shit that everybody else ain't doing. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 pretty much. I just learned, like I said, trial and error. 
Can't make the same mistake twice. Um, I wanted to ask, um, you know, about the DJs and the artists shit again. Um, was there any DJs that you feel like put on for the city? DJ Deuce. DJ Deuce. He 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 definitely put on for the city. DJ Papa Run. He definitely put on for the city. Um, I want to say drop, but I hadn't seen drop in I don't know how long. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what drop doing or anything. So, but I got mad respect for drop because I know I know what drop built and I know what he did for this city. You know what I'm saying? So, um, DJ Super Ken. You know what I'm saying? Um, now. Some of these other DJs, I don't really have relationships with. I really don't, you know what I'm saying, um, know as far as their backgrounds, you know what I'm saying, like Duffy's and the and the ASAPs, and I ain't never met them, you know what I'm saying, so I can tell you nothing good or bad about them, you know what I'm saying, but as far as the people that I have met and been in contact with, like DJ Wild her out there in Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying, he fuck with D. He fuck with DFW. He a full word DJ, but he fuck with the whole city. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I fuck with a lot of DJs. DJ Tuss. You know what I'm saying? DJ Tuss. I feel like he he real underrated out here. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's a lot of DJs out here that's really putting on, man. A lot of DJs that's doing their thing. Um, I just feel like. The platforms are not there for them to flourish. And so they're stuck in a club, you know what I'm saying? Or they may be stuck in a certain space and they don't know how to maneuver out of it. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to dealing artists and breaking artists and breaking music, they can't because they're not in a position to. That is a, that's that's kind of good that you brought that up because uh, – now the uh, club scene in Dallas has kind of changed. It used to be uh, more clubs, when I say regular clubs versus uh, strip clubs. Do you think that also has uh, 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 a take on how the DJs work now? Um, I think it does. I think I think it really has. Uh um an effect on the type of music that they can play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or uh even the format of whatever that they're doing at the clubs. You know what I'm saying? Because it's different than at a regular club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh back in the day, man, we had I mean we was at one time it was six, seven clubs we can go in. Yeah. You know what I'm one, saying? All in one night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so I think the avenues were there. That's why I say the platforms aren't really there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, and it goes, it it goes. That's what I'm saying. A lot of all this shit go hand in hand, from the promoters to the DJs to the artists. All this shit go hand in hand. Yeah. If the promoters ain't handling their business, they can't get the right DJs in this motherfucker to rock it and keep it right. Yeah. The right DJs in here that know how to rock it and keep it right. If they got the music, they can't get it played from the artist that's giving them the music to get it played. Yeah. To make the shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All this shit go hand in hand, even when it comes to the radio. Now, we don't need radio. Artists don't need radio. Fuck radio. You don't need them. You can get your shit directly to the public. Got directly to the people. They going to buy your shit. Radio deals an advertisement. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to that, you you deal directly with the people. Yeah. But even still, when it comes to radio, if we had people that were actually from Dallas at the radio stations running the stations, and they give a fuck about the culture here in Dallas, it would be a better outcome all the way around the board. So how do you feel about the internet radios? Because a lot of the internet radio stations do support local artists. Internet radio is where it's at. Internet radio, satellite radio, that's where it's at because artists can make their money. It's an avenue for artists to get paid. 
and then it's an avenue for your music to get heard all over by millions of people everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Without the red tape. You can email a internet audit, you know what I'm saying, internet radio station directly or call and talk to the program, you know what I'm saying, director directly. You know what I'm saying? But as far as a regular radio station, you got to go through hoops. You know what I'm saying? Or you got to have that advertising budget. If you don't have an advertising budget, they ain't going to even talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, after the, the interview we did for the Dallas, uh, the artists versus DJs, I've had like feedback, negative feedback, good feedback. Some of the feedback was artists are bitter or complaining. What would you say about that? Um, <laughs> I would say some artists are, but it's out of frustration. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not. It's not. It's not on some shit, man. Like, fuck this whole ass nigga. He ain't playing my record type shit. And woo woo. It's on some really. I'm frustrated because I gave him my record. He don't know what to do with it, and I don't know where to go take it next. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing about it is when you when you putting out a record and and, and here again. I'm only gonna speak on what I know and speak on what I learned myself. You know what I'm saying? So when it come to that, when you putting out a record, you gotta understand what type of record you have. You know what I'm saying? If this shit ain't for the clubs, if it ain't really just gonna get that club rocking like that, don't take it to no club DJ. Don't take it to the strip club. Beat that bitch to the mixtape or whatever. Or beat uh, that bitch to the, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to see another reason I wanted to bring it up because the style of music that you make. And I know certain clubs, uh, I remember my brother actually uh, turned me on to this club, it's closed down now. And they they would uh, play more hip hop type of records, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> shout, out, shout out, slip in. <laughs> but um, like the records you have with, uh, J. Rock Obama. Mm -hmm. Let's touch yes. on that rep. Uh, that's a lyrical exercise, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's produced by my homie Dope Boy. He actually produced Choices as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that record is pretty much one of those joints to where I feel like, I feel like niggas, niggas is still asleep. You know what I'm saying? As far as when it comes to lyricism coming out of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Outside of here, people take us as a dancing city. You know what I'm saying? And so when I said that, when I started the record off, I was like, we all competitors and et cetera, the more the merrier. And that's directed to whoever, no ulterior. You know what I'm saying? That's whoever outside of this motherfucker that feel like we can't spit or we ain't got lyrics or we don't have that side of the fence here, hey, come see me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying and taking a stance for my city. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of, a lot of misconception is out there about our city, you know what I'm saying? And we really need to stick our chest out and, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, this ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna respect Dallas. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, If you come through here and you get money, you gonna respect Dallas. We got all elements of hip hop here in our city, from lyrics, to trapping, to beatboxing, to break dancing, to battles, to graffiti. We got all that shit here in Dallas. We probably one of the only cities that have every element of hip hop in it still existing. You know what I'm saying? So that was why I said that's where that record come from. Lyrical exercise. It's an exercise. Meaning I can do this shit all day long, 24 seven. So don't get it twisted. Dallas is ready. If you was going on tour and you had to take one Dallas DJ with you, who would it be? 
DJ Super Ken. So if there was anything that you could be doing that didn't have anything to mute with do with music, what would be doing? As far as a career? Yeah. <laughs> okay, put it like this. Um If I didn't have to go through the part of being a street law, I would be a detective. Right. Reason being is because I have a, a, a aunt that was murdered in 89. You know what I'm saying? Dude, dude strangled her. Threw her on the side of the road. And left her in Plano. They just now called dude a couple years ago. A few years back. You know what I'm saying? And um, I seen my cousins, man, grow up without their mom and my de- my my uncle. You know what I'm saying? He was by himself, two girls and a boy. You know what I'm saying? And he made it happen. You know what I'm saying? And I just seen a lot of the pain on their faces. You know what I'm saying? From not having their mama, cause my cousin now she a lawyer. She went through law school. She straight A student all the way through high school, college. Went to be a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Her other son, you know what I'm saying? My any other son, my cousin. He, you know what I'm saying? Sheriff. You know what I'm saying? They made some out of themselves. You know what I'm saying? And so that that and then too, I got a partner that's doing 50 years right now. No evidence, no prints, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's it's something that if 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 I could go and be a detective, because I'm very observant, I pay attention to a lot of shit. I watch when motherfuckers don't think I'm watching. I be in the club and motherfuckers think I'm just. J Rock told me one time. He said, "Boy, you look like you ain't about to plot on somebody." I said, "No, nah, I'm just chilling." With, you know what I'm saying? We was at the DLC concert. I was by myself. You know what I'm saying? So I would be a detective, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Those speak those situations you just spoke on, they were very deep. How does that influence your music? Those seeing those situations are situations that you've been through yourself. Um basically I just write what I know and write what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? I keep it I come from the like I said, I come from the nineties. You know what I'm saying? I come from the the time period to where you know what I'm saying what you rapped about you had to been living it had to been you cause niggas see you they gonna check you about it you know what I'm saying so so everything that I, I put out there is a reflection of who I am where I came from what I've done what I've seen you never hear me lie on the record about shit if you hear it, I got it, done had it, or I'm going to get it. And if I say I'm going to get it, you're going to hear me say I'm about to get. You know what I'm saying? you have any shout-outs? Oh, yeah, man. Definitely, definitely. Shout-out to DJ Super King, you know what I'm saying? Um, We're going to rock till the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? Shout-out to my nigga Ricochet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, shout out to the homie C Hen. He working. Shout out to Anonymous. Shout out to that boy T Cash. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody I fuck with out there, man, that's working. Every artist in the D that's putting in their work. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? I just want everybody to be on their business. Niggas see me on the book, and they see me wilding or saying whatever, whatever. Honestly, man, I speak what I feel and speak what's real. You know what I'm saying? I just try to get niggas to go and, you know what I'm saying, seek that knowledge. I put a little seed out there, and I just want you to go, you know what I'm saying, research it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to never tell nobody nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or I ain't gonna, If I don't know it, I'm going to steer you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. One more time, uh, you got some other, uh, you got Choices out? Yep, Choices is out right now, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, 
Lyrical Exercise is out right now. iTunes, all that. The video trailer right now is on YouTube. If you hashtag D Slim Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Check that out. Any other projects you got out? Uh, right now, I got the Genesis Project. Yes. That's my last EP. That's out there on Google Play, Amazon, Apple Music, any digital platform. It's out there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just actually got a publishing, you know what I'm saying, situation because of that project. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 just been out a year. You know what I'm saying? So we negotiating that right now. So man, I'm just I'm just working, man, trying to trying to stay on top of my game. You know what I'm saying? And and wake these folk up because they've been sleeping too long. But it's about time for them to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, ready, man. Slim Johnson, appreciate you coming through, man. You definitely are a real life street star. Real shit. I appreciate y'all having me. You know what I'm talking about? Peace.